Hey guys, it's that Sir here. In the last few years, I've tried over 20 different gaming mice and multiple mouse pads. If you're watching this, chances are you're probably wondering how big of a difference gaming mice can actually make. And is it really worth it to pay for an expensive mouse when the one you have now works perfectly fine? To answer this question, let's take a look at why people turn to gaming mice in the first place. There's a few key features that define a gaming mouse. The biggest one being the mouse sensor, which is responsible for accurately keeping up with the movements you're making with the mouse in real time. This is especially important in time sensitive games like shooter games or rhythm games like Osu that require you to take an action with the mouse before it's too late. In games like this, you need a mouse sensor that's not going to fall behind. Every mouse sensor has a limit for how fast you can move it before it stops keeping track of your movements accurately. Most modern gaming mice typically have sensors with a very high tracking speed. So if you're whipping around in reaction-based games, you'll be able to flawlessly execute those movements in-game without worrying about your mouse lagging behind. But this is only one difference between normal mice and gaming mice. The next thing that sets apart gaming mice from normal mice are the materials and parts used. Not only do gaming mice differ from office mice here, but this is also where gaming mice can start to differ from each other, too. The manufacturing parts used in gaming mice, such as the switches, which are what detects when the mouse is clicked, are commonly higher quality than the ones used in non-gaming mice. They also come in many varieties and can become preference when deciding what mouse to buy. Certain switches require more or less force to press down in order to activate them, which can be useful in a gaming mouse because they can prevent you from accidentally clicking say if you're trying to sneak around and be stealthy for example, or for the lighter clicks they can make it easier on your fingers over an extended period of time. Either way, gaming mice can potentially offer a better experience when it comes to clicks versus regular mice. This difference isn't huge except for when it comes to durability, but it's still something worth mentioning. Another thing worth mentioning is the mouse gates, or mouse feet as some people call it. These are the pads that are found underneath the mouse. These have multiple uses. The first is to lift the mouse off the mouse pad at a distance that's more optimal for tracking. The importance of this and the actual distance for this mostly depends on the mouse sensor, so I won't go into depth about this, just know it's one function of the mouse gate. The other function is to create a smooth and predictable glide that can help you play more consistently. This is very important, and it's probably one of the biggest reasons, outside of having a good sensor, to buy a gaming mouse. Because consistency is key when trying to improve. Now, as with regular mice, gaming mice come in all kinds of shapes, sizes, and weights. This is a preference that differs person to person, as people have different hand sizes and ways of gripping the mouse. But what I will say is, gaming mice are often tailored to not only be comfortable to hold in the hand while resting, but also to be comfortable when moving, twisting, and rotating the mouse. You see, it's one thing to design a mouse that's comfortable and ergonomic to use while doing simple tasks like browsing the web, but it's an entirely different task to design a mouse to be comfortable while in motion, which is something a majority of modern gaming mice have kept in mind. As you can see, there are many reasons why someone would want to buy a gaming mouse over a regular mouse. Admittedly, some of these reasons are more important than others, but there are no shortage of reasons. With all this in mind, we can now answer the question, do gaming mice really matter? Could changing from your current mouse to a different mouse make you play better? And the answer is yes, but also no. Let me explain. When first starting out, one of the easiest ways to improve your gameplay is to get a gaming mouse. More specifically, if you play FPS games. Why? Because of the simple fact that without a decent sensor, you'll never reach your full potential. If your mouse sensor is not reading all your movements properly, you could have the best aim in the world and still be losing fights to someone with worse aim. However, you shouldn't expect to be just instantly good when buying a gaming mouse. It's not some switch that turns on that makes you good suddenly, as some would have you believe. Instead, think of it more as a prerequisite. For example, think about Olympic runners. Those runners aren't fast because they're wearing nice running shoes. They're fast because of all the training they do year-round in order to stay in condition. However, if you gave them cowboy boots to run in, they would still be fast, but they certainly wouldn't be at their best. Gaming mice are very similar to running shoes in this sense. Because it's something all top pros use, but it's not the only thing that got them there. If you want to play better, a good first step is to get a gaming mouse that's good enough. It doesn't have to be the best in the world as long as it suits you and has a decent tracking sensor, which is the most important part. The good news is that almost every gaming mouse that's come out in the past three years more than likely has a sufficient sensor. With that being said, at higher levels of play, because everyone's already using a gaming mouse with a good sensor, finding the right mouse for them isn't going to be the same jump as a new player going from an office mouse to a gaming mouse. So that doesn't mean it's not important for advanced players to try new gaming mice too. When you're at this level of play, you've likely done almost everything else you can to get better and already have your own practice routine, etc. So the only thing that remains is to fine tune the little extra push you can get from finding the gear that best suits you. If you want to know how to find the right gaming mouse for you, I'll be making a video on that in the future, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already to see that when that comes out. 
In conclusion, if you're serious about PC gaming and you play FPS games, getting a gaming mouse is something I'd highly recommend. Even if you do this as a hobby, it's still a much better experience. If you're going to be using a mouse for several hours on end for years to come, you might as well invest in getting a good one. But again, don't expect to become a pro just because you buy a gaming mouse. Think of it more as something that unlocks your potential. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and hit the like button if you enjoyed. Whoa!